Hi everybody, I'm Matteo Ferrario. When working with audio we should always remember a thing. Uh, we are com never completely in silence. Even in, a, in an echoic chamber you uh, will hear the internal noise your own body makes. By the way, we have to try diminishing the noise. A noise presents in two forms. Uh, acoustic noise and electrical noise. Uh, coming from cables and, and electrical devices. The more our recording is clean, the more options we'll have on later in the mix. So you have to learn to listen to the noise of the room, window, fan, your neighbor's TV, uh, create an isolated space far from acoustic um, um, noise sources. For the um, electrical noise instead, Every piece of gear contributes uh, in creating it, and to reduce it, you have to uh, use uh, the least pieces uh, you can. Use short cables if possible. It's better to use balanced cables such as uh, uh, XLR or TRS. Turn off the lights if possible. Use high quality gear. Generally, there's a lot of metal. It's less noisy. Um, while plastic is, is more noisy. And six, avoid unnecessary gain and place the mic um, closer to the sound source. And don't try to fix it in the mix. Noise comes up when the signal is absent or very low. When the signal is uh, really powerful, we have a different phenomenon, the distortion. And when the amplitude of a signal overcomes the threshold of the gear being used, the signal flattens itself around crests and stuff, and variations amplitude transforms into a timbre variation. We know it's uh, with a, as effect named drive, and we can use it for example with uh, our guitar. When we record a vocal track instead, we absolutely want to avoid distortion. And there are a few spots in, your, in our signal flow when uh, uh, this can happen. Well, one, the microphone. Don't place it too close uh, to the source and use a pop filter. Uh, the microphone preamp that can reach the digital maximum uh, and clip. <coughs> and DAW and various plugins for this one applies the old uh, rule of uh, avoiding uh, to reach the red level uh, in every stage where you can increase the gain uh, of the signal. Okay, now uh, I'd like to um, show you how the volume changes when it um, comes to distortion. Uh, so I now uh, increase the volume of the signal and then I introduce the distortion. As you see, the volume range doesn't change, but uh, change the perceived volume of the signal. 